Let's begin the operation. We'll need to confirm his condition. I've had his chart sent to us. You did? What do we know about his condition? Four years ago, the patient had a lung cancer operation. It must have metastasized to his spine from there. His spine was weakened from the tumor and was crushed from the impact of the fall. Oh, my God. His spines. We're going to approach this by reshaping his spine and placing synthetic bones. We aren't going to extract the tumor? The specialists at Concordia have deemed it too dangerous to excise. It can't be treated under these conditions. <sighs> Hank, are you listening? Let's begin the treatment. First, we must make an incision into the outer epidermis. <laughs> It's just like in the report. The intervertebral disc's been pushed out of the crushed spine. Let's excise it. Ready the saw. Good. Cautiously continue on. Mm. Calm down. I can still do this. It's all right. seems to be extensive damage to the spine. We can't leave it like this. Let's use the drill to chip away the injured area and replace it with the synthetic bone. Good, keep it up. Do the same to the next area. All right, let's start looking at the next area. Let's start on the other side. Hmm. Rock solid. Yes, it's perfect. We can detach it now. The vertebral body has been detached. Beginning tumor extraction. Huh? Hey, I told you, his tumor was deemed inoperable. No, Chief. Huh? That mentality is how this young man was forsaken by the doctors he trusted. That's how he lost hope. You... Should we only try to save those who we know we can save? Is this the extent of our capacity for justice? Absolutely not. His death is on my hands, and I'd risk my life to save him. Ugh. Why are all the doctors in this place such blockheads? <sighs> but still, when you put it like that, I can't exactly back down now either. You have my support, Dr. Freebird. Now my life's on the line too. Do it, Hank. Understood, Chief. Beginning the extraction. All right, let's proceed. Be careful. Tumor excision complete. Now extracting it with the forceps. Hold it right there. <laughs> this is no ordinary tumor. It's a soft spinal tumor. A soft one? Yes, if you pull on it with too much force, it'll just tear. We need to be careful about its integrity while we extract it. Got it. Slow and careful like always. You moron! It's going to tear! Ugh, the tumor tore! You can take your time, it's all right. Just be as delicate as you can when moving the tumor. You moron! It's going to tear! All right, I've peeled it off. All right, it's been extracted. Let's begin preparing the synthetic bone. Uh, wait a second. Uh, there were more tumors here. We'll have to extract this one, too. It doesn't matter how many show up. Handle them one at a time. Good. Cautiously continue on. Let you can't rush through this. See how soft it is, and be careful. Extraction complete. Now, is that it? Oh, here comes another. Is this the last one? We won't lose. Justice will win. No, it must win. Good. Cautiously continue on. Hmm. The 
Construction complete. Tumor markers have diminished. Yes, we did it. All right. Now to place the synthetic bone, and we'll be done. Well then, let's cut it out with the laser. Hank, do it. Just forget about it. Seriously, what the hell were you guys thinking? I'm, I'm sorry. Look, if you'd killed him, the hospital would be at fault. I, I, I don't have any excuses. You <laughs> don't ever think ahead, do you? So why'd you save him? Why? Well... Life is... wonderful. And I wanted him to see that too. Your heart's just too damn big, muttonhead. Here. What's... this? Is this your first time seeing one of those? It's a chart. You better thank Maria for resuscitating your patient. 